Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's video, we are going to write a SQL query to swap column values in SQL. Now this can be done pretty easily in certain databases and it's a little bit tricky in other databases. So let's take a look at the different methods that can be used. So here we are talking about changing the column values. So if by mistake you have updated some column value in another column and then you need to interchange the column values, then this approach can be used. So I've created a table called coordinates and it has got two columns X and Y. So let's take a look at the data. So there are two columns X and Y. They have got certain values in them. And now our requirement is to interchange these values. So whatever are the values in the Y column should end up getting updated in the X column and the values in the X column should be updated in the Y column. Now it's pretty easy as I have already said if your database is SQL Server, it's a simple update statement. So let's do that. So if we just write update coordinates and set x equal to y, y equal to x. So a very simple statement that this is going to the required results. So I'm going to execute this. You will be able to see that six rows have been affected. If I go back to this table, if you observed it earlier, the values have actually been swept. So let's take example again, the value in X is two and Y is one. So two, one, there's no other pair like one, two. Now, if I run this again, you can run it multiple times. If I run this again and again go to the select statement, you will see the values have been interchanged. Now we have got a pair called 1, 2, whereas earlier we had got the value as 2, 1. So pretty simple, very easy in SQL Server. Now let's assume the, C the database is not SQL Server. It is MySQL where this update statement will not work. Then there are two other methods that can be used in that situation. Now the first method is a simple um, logic to first uh, set the value of x and the sum of the values of two columns so s y okay and this is obviously only applicable for uh, integer columns so if i do set x is equal to x plus y so i am just going to run this now in my sql you can run them all together but i'm going to run in sql server one by one so i'm just going to do x is equal to x plus y then the next statement i'm going to do so let's take an example to make it easier to understand so we had an example of let's say let's put the example here so we had a value pair of one and two so now our x has become um, x has become 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. Now the next step is going to be to update y and y I'm going to update as whatever is the new value in x minus the value in y the existing value in y. So the existing value in y is still 2. So what is going to happen I'm just going to do x minus y which is basically saying that I'm going to do 3 minus 2, which is going to give me 1, which was the original value of x. So now I'm going to do that. Okay. Did I run this? Oh, just a second. Let's go back and check it. What are the values we've got? So now we have got 3. And we have got 2. Okay. So now I'm going to do a 3 minus 2. So I'm going to run the statement. Y is equal to X minus Y. I'm going to execute this. So 6 rows affected. Now this should be able to give me the right value in Y. So if I do a select star again, you will see the value in Y is now 1. Okay. Now the next step is going to be to make X easy equal to x minus the new value in y. So x is still the sum of the original values, which is 3. Now what I'm saying, I'm going to subtract 3 minus the new value in y, which was the original value in x. So the original value in x was 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from it, which is going to give me 
2 okay which was the original value of y and which is what i wanted in x okay so now if i execute this query and go back i should have the desired results so i should have swept the columns so now it is 2 1 so this is one method that would work it's it's pretty simple you first add them and then subtract the other value from that sum to get the desired results so this is one method that can be followed now another uh, an easier method a more neat and clean way of writing would be to use a temporary variable let's first declare the temporary uh, variable so declare at temp as end and let's define the original value as zero now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write a simple update statement update coordinates set okay first of all i'm going to store the value of x in the temporary variable okay so simple this is a commonly used approach across like even in c and things we use this approach it's a general mathematical approach so first i'm going to store the value of x in this temporary variable then what i'm going to do i'm in x i'm going to store the value of y and then in y i'm going to store the value of this temporary variable okay so this is going to be my statement now so you have to in include the declare part obviously because it's a temporary variable over here okay six rows affected if i go back i have one and two okay let's do it again because i didn't observe it right i think it was two one so now it is one and two i'm just going to do this again because again it will uh, sort the column values again okay so if i do this again six rows affected and now i should be able to see two one here so execute this two one okay so our purpose is fulfilled now this is an interesting way and it um, makes us aware of one more uh, functionality in the update um, statement that we can actually go and use temporary variables in update statement so that's an interesting uh, thing um, as an extension of this let's say now we want to also count have a counter of how many records have been updated so if i declare another variable called let's say count and then here in my update statement i say at count equal to at count plus one so every record that is updated will keep on being added to this temporary variable value and we should be getting in the end the total number of records which have been updated okay so what we are going to do is we are going to add a select statement here sorry select at count okay just to see what is the value of count now if i run this whole part again okay you will see that you have the output of count as six because six rows were affected by the operation that we performed so this is an interesting use where you can actually go and use temporary variables as well in the update statement so these are the various ways and this can be uh, the swapping of column values can be achieved in different databases as i said pretty easy in sql server and i think we'll recall also this will work uh, it's only my sql that it gets a little bit tricky and you need to use any of these other two approaches i hope that you found the video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and please comment like share our video we'll talk to you soon in another video thanks a lot for watching goodbye